Many Bangladeshis gathered on Sunday to pay tribute to an American blogger and critic of religious extremism who was killed in Dhaka in the, in the latest series of attacks on writers in the predominantly Muslim nation. Avijit Roy, an engineer of Bangladeshi origin, was killed by machete-wielding assailants on Thursday while returning from a book fair. Uh, Jose, this is a pretty sad story. Um, he was an American citizen, doesn't matter, either way. It's a terrible thing to happen to somebody, especially somebody who is simply a blogger yeah. writing about their beliefs, their real, religious beliefs, in a nation where that's kind of frowned upon, to say the least. Um, he was with his wife at the time. She, she escaped. Uh, she lost a finger in the attack, some head injuries. She's recovering right now. She's lucky to be alive, but um, all this weekend mourners were at the site where it happened, laying flowers. There was also a lot of protesters, a lot of students came out, a lot of professors, a lot of intellectuals coming out to speak up against, you know, violence uh, towards people who are simply practicing the free speech. freedom of speech and freedom of thoughts. What do you, what do you think about that? I mean, I think it's, it's very sad. I think that's one of the main reasons there is this ideological conflict between the West and the Muslim countries is specifically this. Mm -hmm. It boils down to intolerance. Although we have our good share of intolerance on this yeah. side of the world, somehow we've managed to keep it on the realm of, of intellectual ideas and, and you know, intellectual repression, if we will. But when you are killing, when you're doing these barbaric acts against people that just want to speak their mind and they, they want to ask for their right to think freely, I think it's very sad. And, and also, the, the fact that he's an American citizen, like you mentioned, I don't know, did it help for it to get more traction or, uh, and to the story at all? I thought it would. Um, being that he's an American citizen and he was literally hacked to pieces uh, in the streets, uh, just walking with his wife, you'd think that would get a lot of attention. But I noticed that, you know, I, I followed the story and, and it really didn't get as much as I thought it would, um, especially on American uh, news stations. But it seems, I, it kind of raises a question. If, if he is a Bangladeshi born mm -hmm. American, okay, so he's from there, ethnically he is Bangladeshi. And I'm wondering if he was a white American who fit that basic stereotype, you know. Yeah if this would have been Any perceived idea. differently on the media, do you think it would? I mean, sadly, I'll have to say that yes. You know, yeah. I think that, that for every, you know, let, let's get off, off topic a little bit and do something that is happening on the media and it's being covered a lot more that is ISIS. And yeah. we see these Western hostages being killed. Yeah. And the Western go, world goes up in arms. But how many, you know, ethnically Muslim victims have their life taken by these conflicts and nobody seemed to make such a false out of it. I think that the, this racial divide that we create, that you know, it's one of them, it's not much of our problem, it, it definitely has to do with the way that he looks. If we have you know, like just the, the aid worker that was killed by ISIS immediately created all these social media response behind it all around the world, Versus this person, was this attack already, you know, like, was any warning for this attack or there yeah, was, he, you know, he, like, he, or it came out of the blue? He received numerous threats uh, for a long time over Facebook and other mm -hmm. social media sites because he had been writing for a long time. And so, yeah, they, they, they caught the guy who was the main uh, guy who orchestrated the attack. Yeah. He apparently was threatening him as well on Facebook for a long time. But you raise a really good point. Um, it's noted that over 90% of all of the terrorist attacks that happen kill Muslim people. So yeah. whether it's religion, whether it's uh, the Freedom way he looks, speech. I mean, who knows? Uh, either way, it's a really sad story. Uh, we'd like to know what you guys uh, have to say about it. Um, so please do comment. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Lip TV for more.